Megan from Bookish Delights. And today's video is my February wrap up. I read a total of nine books, I believe. Nine, ten books. So it was a good month for me. So I had quite a few that were audiobooks and a, a couple that were ebooks. And I'm not going to go too in depth in these books because there are so many and my battery is flashing. So I'm going to try to get these done as quick as possible. I'm going to start off with the physical books in no particular order. I read Hide Yourself Away by Mary Jane Clark. This is. I don't want to say it's like a knockoff right of Mary Higgins Clark, but I think it's supposed to be similar. It is similar style. It is mystery thriller. There is suspense. The writing style is a lot like Mary Higgins Clark. So if you like Mary Higgins Clark, you will like Mary Jane Clark's writing as well. So this is the first book I read by Mary Jane Clark. I really enjoyed it. I have a couple of other books by her that I can't wait to dive into. I quite like the writing. Like I said, it is a mystery thriller and this one just follows along. There has been like a murder. It's usually how it goes and then you're just trying to figure out who it is and they put the blame on the wrong person and in the end they find out what really happened. And that's basically this. The murderer is trying to clean up loose ends. Moving on, we have We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. I love this book and it really it is hard hitting. It has a few different aspects in it. There's there's just a lot going on within the story that it's kind of hard to break it all down. So it is something I would recommend it. I rated it five stars. It just packs a punch. It's like there's LGBT in here, there's talks of suicide, there's mentions of attempted rape, there's a lot of stuff in this and it is a good read but be mindful of those things first. I talked a little bit more about this in my contemporary -thon wrap up so check that video out to know more about this book. The next book I have is When Dibble Met Rishi. I just finished this the other day. I want to say around the 25th, I think it was, that I finished this. And this is a really cute contemporary. Basically, it's supposed to be like an arranged marriage type situation. But Rishi, not Rishi, Dimple doesn't know about it. But Rishi does, so he's trying to become really good friends with Dimple and just show her that he is actually like a good guy and they just, it just follows along their friendship. I rated this four and a half. There was just, I did really enjoy this book but it wasn't, it didn't compare to my other like top rated books so I did give it a four and a half but it is still a really nice contemporary and I do recommend this book. Moving on to audiobooks and ebooks. Uh, I will have the covers up here on screen like always so I listen to like a love story I can't remember who it's by but it's a name that I can't pronounce so yeah I, you know I'm bad at pronouncing names this is kind of like a love story it is basically what the title suggests it's a really nice read I believe I have rated it it was another four or five I can't quite remember but you can always check my Goodreads it is linked down in the description box below. I read this at like the start of the month and February went by in like a blur since I was sick so I can't quite remember much about it right now but I'm sure if I went back and you know read the description I would be like oh yeah this and that happened but it's a very nice book it's from what I can recall the main character I can't remember any of their names but the main character he's kind of just struggling with who he is and trying to figure out who he is and who he wants to be while going to high school and they're in like a new area so he's just struggling to find himself 
Next book is The Handsome Young Man. Again, I can't remember the author. This is just like a short little quick read um, scribed I found just because I needed something that was short and kind of like a palette cleanser type thing and I didn't really enjoy it much I don't know I think it's just the writing there was a lot of like back and forth it just it wasn't my taste it was it wasn't quite historical fiction but it was set in the past and I don't know I just didn't like the writing and this one, I, I'm not quite sure where you would class it as, but it was the main character, I think his name was Park or Parker, and he was kind of just going about his life, and it, it was in different stages of his life where his, his wife left him, or he had an affair, so I, I don't know, I didn't really like it, so I didn't really retain too much of the story, but... It was kind of following his life and then there were there was like a murder slash suicide or made it look like it was suicide so he was trying to go back and figure out what happened just to clear people's names and get the right person who had done it it's all over the place um i didn't really like it next we have petals and thorns this is a beauty and the beast retelling but it is it it's a it's a it's a sexy book it's erotica so if you're into that then read it i not gonna lie i kind of did like the writing it's not something that i would read often but the writing was good basically it's just a beauty and the beast retelling everyone really knows what beauty and the beast is the beauty gets like not really captured, but she has to go with the beast and live with him for a little bit, and then they work through some stuff, they fall in love, that's basically it. That is the gist of it, there's a whole lot more to the story, it's a really, Beauty and the Beast itself is a good story. Then, there was A Quiet Place of One's Own, this was an ebook book unscribed, actually, the book, uh, The Handsome Young Man was a different book. The one that I just described for that one, that was actually a quiet place of his own where it was Parker, he was going, it was through different stages of his life, I didn't really like the writing. A handsome young man, I can't quite come to think of it, I, I can't remember what it's about. I rated it low, I don't think I liked the writing very much, so there's that, I'm just gonna move past those books. Then I listened to a mother-daughter book club where it's a group of girls and their moms and they form a book club. The daughters aren't really into it very much. It's different perspectives of the daughters. They're in, I don't I think they're in sixth grade and some of them are friends, some of them are not and it kind of follows along. There's bullying in it and just trying to figure out who your real friends are and in the book the in the book club they're actually reading I think it's Pride and Prejudice they decided to read on the book club and they have the whole year to read it and it's a really nice book I quite enjoyed it it was really cute and my mom also enjoyed this book she told me I should read it and I did and I really liked it I rated it I believe five stars if not it was four and a half stars and I would read more of this series so I think they're all on scribe I could be wrong and then the last book I read I talked more about this in my contemporary assignment wrap up so I'll link that down below and that was on the come up that's by Angie Thomas and that again is another story of trying to figure out who you are and what you want to be and just trying to figure out your life while going through high school and dealing with repercussions of your own actions and just being targeted because on the come up the main character is a person of color so she does tend to get targeted she's not treated as an equal and again I talked more about this in my wrap up video for contemporary Marathon. And that is all of the books that I read for February. The middle of February, I kind of hit a slump because I have been sick and I was just getting over the heckled, but I have a five-year-old niece 
who likes to spread little germs. So I am now sick again, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys, get this filmed. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, any video suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to receive any notifications for whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you next time.